guys welcome to database tutorial so today we will see how to create a symbol map chart so in my screen you are seeing a symbol map chart wherein it is depicting different storm names and it is visualized with the differentiation of its size according to the wind speed so if the wind speed is the highest so the shape of that storm symbol is the highest and if the wind speed is the lowest so storm shape of that symbol is the lowest so how we can create this map chart for different storms let's see so first what we will do is i want the latitude and longitude to be mapped in my visual so i will go to show me tab and i will click on map here or I will just go to this. I, I, I can just drag the longitude and latitude in columns and rows. So that also I can do. Okay, after doing this, now I want the storm names. So I will drag the storm names to colors. So I will drag the storm names to colors. I will add all the members here. So my storm names will be added in this map chart. Now uh, I want to change the shape of these storm names. So what I will do is I will go to marks card and I will click on shape here. Now I will drag the storm name to shapes. So now uh, my different storms have got different shapes for it. If I want to change the shape, I can change the shape from here. I can change any palette from here. But I, as I do not want to change it, I will be like that, make it like that only. Now I want to uh, apply the wind speed uh, to the size of the shape. So I will drag the wind speed to size here. So my wind speed will change the shape size here. So as my size of the shape has increases at some places. So there the wind speed was the highest. So I can also increase the size of these shapes to make it somewhat more visible. Okay. Now what I can do is I get the map options I uh, get from here in the map tab. I can go to map tab. I can go to background maps. And from here I can change the theme of my map. So uh, currently it is at normal. I can click on the satellite here. It will give me a satellite view. Okay, so now I've got the satellite view of the map and if I want to uh, add any background layers here, so I can go to background layer and I can click on the layers and if I want streets, highways to be highlighted, country, region, borders to be highlighted, state uh, borders to be highlighted. So I can just tick mark these options here. You can see when I have uh, tick marked these, the borders have been highlighted with a line here, right? So like this, you can add the background layers also to your map. And so that's it. You have got the symbol map here and you can see uh, which storm name has the highest uh, average wind speed and which has the lowest average wind speed. And you can uh, add the labels also. So I want storm names to be added in the label. So I will add storm names here. If I don't want storm names, I want uh, wind speed. I can drag the wind speed to labels and I will get the wind speed here. And if uh, so here I want the wind speed to be in the average. So I will go to the labels here in the measure. I will click on average. So I will get the average wind speed for all the storms. Okay, so that's it for today. Like this, you can create a symbol map chart on a um, satellite view map. So that's it. Try to create it. And if you have any doubts or if you have any queries, you can just uh, take it up in the comment section and I will just reply there. Okay, so that's it for today. Happy learning. Take care. Stay safe.